Welcome back to Team Code. Why don't you grab yourselves a cup of tea? We're going to be writing a solution for minimize product sum of two arrays today. Let's get started. So because this problem um, has arrays which have a range of elements going from 1 to 100 while the number of elements in the arrays could be from 1 to 10 to the power of 5 it would be better to sort the arrays using counting sort rather than another array such as merge sort and, and we'll need to sort the arrays um, to um, have a good solution for this problem so uh, we're going to use counting sort for this counting sort sorts the arrays you is um, in o n plus k time and simply what we do with the with counting or sort is we add the occurrences so we count the occurrences of each of the elements in the arrays. Then we add the result to an output array in numerical order. Pretty simple. So let's have a description of this problem. So the product sum of two equal length arrays A and B is equal to the sum of A multiplied by B for the for all zero less than or equal to i less than a length uh, zero indexed for example if a is equal to one two three four and b is equal to five two three one the product sum would be one multiplied by five two multiplied by two three multiplied by three and four multiplied by, five by one is equal to 22. given two arrays nums one and nums two of length n return the minimum product sum if you are allowed to rearrange the order of the elements in numbers one. Uh, very good. So as they've shown here, to get the product sum, what we would do, so we, as we mentioned before, we'll start by sorting the arrays. So once the arrays are, are sorted, we can then multiply the largest item in one of the arrays multiplied by the smallest item in the other array that will give us the minimum sum or the minimum product so that we can get the minimum sum and so that's pretty much as simple as that so let's get started so we'll start by writing a counting sort method So we have uh, the position variable, which will allow us to put the elements back into the array after we've counted e the occurrence of each of the elements. This is the uh, the array we're going to use to count the occurrences of each of the elements in the input array. So we're going to write the method for counting the occurrence of the 
elements in the array I've mentioned before. So Now we are going to add the the elements in numerical order back into the um, array or into an output array um, in, a, um, in numerical order. So it will go into the array in uh, backwards, but the array itself will be sorted in ascending order. So here we just um, if we see an index which is unmarked, it means that it's not an element that existed in the array. So we simply skip it. So this is the part where we just um, set the element into the output array and move on to the next element. That's that. Mm -hmm. Now we can um, return the product sum of both of the arrays.
So now we're going to add the smallest elements from array 1 and our largest elements from array 2 to the sum and to get to the minimum product sum of both of the arrays. So quick check. So there we are guys, if you have any questions about this solution leave it in the comments below, otherwise leave a like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.